The lawmakers on Capitol Hill are working to address an often overlooked problem that's hurting our military community. 38% of military spouses are underemployed compared with about 8% in the economy as a whole. And about 12% are unemployed, nearly three times the national rate. It can cause huge financial hardships for military families. Jan Crawford met with two military spouses and a U.S. senator pushing for a change. She's in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, you know, there are a lot of demands on our service members. They've got the frequent moves, those long assignments away from home. So we don't always think about how hard it is on the military families, and it shouldn't be that difficult. So now some lawmakers here on Capitol Hill are trying to do something about it. Is that good? Lakeisha Cole is a mother and small business owner whose husband has served all over the world in the Marines. We relocated six times. We've had about 14 addresses in 14 the midst addresses. of six moves. Yes. Aaron Ward is a real estate agent who spent more than two decades on the move as an Army wife. Fast forward 19 moves later. Wait, 19 moves? 19 in moves. 20 in 24 years. years, yeah. While their husbands served our country, these women made sacrifices of their own, especially in their careers, where frequent moves meant frequent job changes. I waited tables at Red Lobster. I worked at daycare centers. I've worked um, in government contracting. I've done everything from sell insurance to um, work in radio. So if you were to look at my resume and see that I've had, you know, 25 different jobs, that doesn't look very good, right? Like, who wants to hire that person that's not going to stick around? Have you heard that personally from an employer? Like, are you a military spouse? Oh, How yeah. long are you going to be? Oh, you yeah. guys have both yeah. heard yes. that. If I had someone say, well, if someone was to look at your resume, they assume that you're unstable. Unstable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you've had so many they different get, jobs. Yes. For professionals who require state licenses, uprooting your career can be difficult, if not impossible. Now I've got to put my business on hold because it's going to take me six months to get my license because I'm, you know, moving from Texas to Florida and Florida, you know, may not recognize Texas's licenses. The same thing happens, we know, attorneys who... Yeah, and teachers. Yeah, teachers. Yeah. Which all contributes to this reality. In a recent survey, 77% said being a military spouse had negatively affected their careers. More than half of the spouses in the survey said they bring in no income, and nearly half the families had less than $5,000 saved. After years of frustration, both Cole and Ward took matters into their own hands, starting their own businesses. I don't know what I would have done had I not chosen entrepreneurship as my career path. I'd probably would still be stressed out <laughs> somewhere rolled up in a ball in the corner somewhere. When you first started hearing about some of these stories, what was your reaction? Just a sadness that, it, that I hadn't thought of, thought of it before. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine represents more military families than nearly any other senator. The veterans unemployment rate came down because there was a patriotic desire to these people sacrifice. We should figure a way that we can help them. We have to create the same patriotic mentality about these military spouses. There are signs that change is coming. With my signature. At the state level, Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts recently made it easier for teachers who are military spouses to find employment. Opening up the spouses or and outside groups like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce host career fairs targeted at military spouses. Kane is also pushing bipartisan legislation at the national level, arguing that addressing the problem will benefit the military in the long run. I have a kid in the military, and, you know, the, the brass always tells you that, you know, it's the soldier or the Marine that makes the decision to come in, but usually the reenlistment decision is made by an entire family. We are the backbone of the military, and I think if we had more people standing up behind us and saying, we believe in you, and we're going to put the money, money behind, behind you. it, yeah. right? It's not enough just to talk the talk. We want to see people walking walk the, the walk. walk. Why is this such an important issue? Why should, why should we try to fix it? I think we should try to fix it because it is the right thing to do. I like to say we're the heroes on the home front, you know? We're home keeping the kids together. We're the accountant. We're the housekeeper, mm -hmm. you know? We're all of these professions on a daily basis just so that our spouses can go to work and serve the country. Bye. Now, Aaron and Lakeisha told us that the problem has gotten so bad that more couples are actually living apart so the spouse can stay behind and work. Senator Kane and his colleagues say they hope that Congress can pass a law later this spring that will help fix that problem.